That's okay. probably the right guy then. Yeah. The CCP doesn't yeah, like him. Yeah, he's the right guy, 100%. Yeah. Eric, yeah. I want to move on to this investigation that we are following. We're going to speak with Senator Ron Johnson in just a moment. And I know it was Ron Johnson's famous uh, southwest border encounters chart, which, of course, uh, President Trump turned his head for, missing that bullet, uh, which uh, was, yeah. was just terrific. We'll get into that with the senator in a minute. He's also diving into this investigation into this security failure of the, of the uh, Secret Service. Has, has President Trump uh, and others, I know you actually asked for more Secret Service detail for President Trump over the last two years. Can you tell us about that? Have you been requesting more uh, security for President Trump? Maria, I'm going to try to bite my tongue as much as humanly possible on this one, but it's obviously a sore subject. You know, first of all, I love the men and women of the Secret Service. They were with me for f almost five years, and I would take a bullet for them just as fast as they would take a bullet for me. Some of them are dear friends, personal friends, and they are incredible people. The people on that stage, they did their job, uh, and they did it incredibly well, and they all would have died for my father. So let's let's put that on one side. The director of the Secret Service should should resign in absolute disgrace. Uh, the fact that she can come out and lie to the American people, uh, you know, stop subpoenas as Mayorkas is trying to do right now, stop FOIA requests as Mayorkas is trying to do right now, and tell the American people that the roof, which had about a 1.5%, you know, st if there was any less, you know, grade on that roof, you'd have bird bats on the top of it, right? I, I don't want to hear this, that a Secret Service sniper, and I know many of them, and they are the most in shape, phenomenal people, great people, biggest hearts you've ever seen in your entire life, couldn't navigate that roof. That's going to be the excuse that she's going to use. It's an absolute disgrace. The fact that the Biden administration could allow a former president and very likely a future president to take a bullet through the ear and there is no accountability and the person still in their job just shows how disgraceful and inept the administration is. She should be out of a job. They should put somebody in there that's competent. The reality is I don't care. This is not a political issue. There's no politics involved in this issue. Any former president that takes a bullet, that gets shot, that has blood running down their face, that goes down, the, the sign to the entire world of the weakness of America when something like this happens, and God forbid worse happen. I mean, we lost an amazing man that day. You know, but God forbid some... It, it is unthinkable, Maria. It cannot happen. And the fact that she is still in her job is, is, is beyond. Yeah. And yes, it was logical. You and I have talked about this on your show before. I said that the Democrats would stop at absolutely nothing. They've tried to impeach him. They've tried to take him down. They've tried to break up our family. They've tried to bankrupt us. They've, they've sent every subpoena at us. And I've said on this show before, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried something even worse, alluding to exactly what happened just over a week ago from, uh, from today. And, and I was right. And they better get more security on him. They better get more security. And they better figure out what, what the hell the breakdown yeah. was. But to allow somebody on a roof 130 yards away with an AR-15, which is a chip shot, everybody who's even remotely competent in anything yeah. having to do with the shooting sports understands that this is a chip shot. It's unacceptable, and it can never happen again. And, and I just, it, it's such an infuriating time. I almost lost my father that day, you know, with my kids on my lap watching. This cannot happen in the United States of America. It cannot uh, happen, Maria. Just to be clear, you did ask for more security around your father, correct? I have said several times that there should be more security around him because the people on the other side and there are people in this country who would be willing to do the unthinkable. And I was proven right. And I'm not a tinfoil hat wearing guy. In fact, I'm probably okay. a little bit more centrist than a lot of people would otherwise understand. But it, it, I've seen the way that they've attacked him. I've seen the way that they've tried yeah. to get him and they would stop at absolutely nothing. And I want mm -hmm. to see my father protected. And I think, you know, the entire democratic world wants to see yeah you know, their elected officials protected. Eric, thank you so much. We appreciate you. Eric Trump joining us, Trump Organization Executive Vice President, and of course, President Trump's son. And now this.